In this video, I'll introduce material preparation, our fabrication method, and the physical apparatus. Material preparation. These are niodymium iron boron magnetic particles that have an average diameter of 5 micrometers. We put the particles between two 1 inch permanent magnets, and the atomic dipoles align themselves with the magnetic field. Even when the field is removed, part of the magnetization will be retained because of magnetic hysteresis. After being magnetized, the magnetic particles are mixed with UV resin in a 1 to 1 mass ratio. Then the mixture is stirred sufficiently to form a homogeneous magnetic slurry. The magnetic slurry must be kept away from light to avoid unintended curing. Fabrication method this fabrication method allows 3D encoding of magnetic domains in planar composites. As an example, let us consider this final product which has two magnetic domains. First, we fuse a 150 micrometer thick SU8 mode with a magnetic slurry. The thickness of the mode determines the thickness of the final product. Next, we apply an external magnetic field to reorient the magnetic particles. The field must be strong enough to overcome the friction of the UV resin and the interaction between magnetic particles, but not so strong as to re-magnetize the particles. Here, we generate a magnetic flux density of 100 millitesla, denoted by the green arrow. We first apply a magnetic field to the right. When the particles are aligned, we shine UV light on the left half of the polymer, which is our first curing region. This initiates local polymerization and freezes magnetic particles within it. Similarly, we pattern the second region. When patterning is done, we clean the uncured magnetic slurry and obtain the final product. Using this method, we can also fabricate more complex geometries, for example, a forearm magnetic gripper. Unlike conventional method, which requires more than 8 hours to fabricate one device, this method only requires about 20 minutes. Physical apparatus. This is a prototype that we designed to pattern the magnetic particles using UV light. The system comprises two parts, the UV light generation module and the magnetic field generation module. The UV module uses a digital light processing UV projector as a light source. After traveling through several optical components, the light pattern generated is demagnified and printed on the vertical precision stage. The magnet module comprises a 1 inch permanent magnet, two stepper motors, and a 3 axis magnetic field sensor. With the feedback data from the sensor, we can control the direction of the magnetic field at the center of the precision stage. By synchronizing the UV module and the magnet module, we can automate the fabrication process. This is an example showing the fabrication of a two-arm magnetic gripper. In the program, we define the geometry of the device, the magnetization in each domain, and the curing order. Then the gripper can be extracted from the substrate and controlled in a coil system.